Wonder has, I mean, Frontiersman here. Tina's here. We're still at the beach. And we're having a great time. It is so fun and relaxing. And Tina's looking for an alcoholic beverage. What, Tina? I'm, I'm at the Frontiersman Beach Bar. <laughs> the Frontiersman Beach Bar. Just got back from uh, what was the place? Neil and Pants had a little lunch, and uh, now we're trying some Clyde Mays whiskey, which I found at the liquor store in South Carolina. <laughs> Allison's gonna do the rye, mm -hmm. and that's the straight bourbon. I'm gonna put that in on some ginger ale because you know what? <laughs> Elmer T. Lee who has one of the best whiskeys. He's a whiskey distiller for Buffalo Trace. And he said, how do you like your whiskey? They asked him, he goes, I like it with ginger ale. Mm. So That's my favorite. So, and Allison's favorite too. And Tina's smelling it. How's that smell, the rye? The sniff is, is sweet. It's sweet. Sweet. Now we did try a Clyde Mays that uh, our friend Nathan brought over and that was really good. So that's why I picked up this to try out the other stuff. Of course, this is not a real test because we're putting it on ginger ale, but I'm gonna buy all these bottles and do some, some on a live stream trial. So anyway, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. We're gonna sniff it and sip it 
And then we'll pour it in the ginger ale. We're trying the rye first? Yeah. Let's try the rye. Mm. The proof is 94. 94 proof. I think it's it's pretty good. It has a, a good amount of smoke. Hmm. Cool. Good amount of sweet. I enjoy it. I think it'll go really good with ginger, though. Did you try it, Tina? Gotcha. Go ahead. Yeah, on the nose, in the bottle, and here now, it's quite sweet. It, it's smelling. It tastes how it's. Very smooth mm -hmm. and like a little, yeah. little bit of smoke, but definitely sweetness and very hmm. smooth. Smoke. How about you? A smoky rye, huh? I, I get just a tad bit of smoke. It's I not get the spice smoky, and the smoky. vanilla right off the nose. You don't smell the smoke, but there's a there's a hint of taste with it. Well, that's very good. That's it's very really good. Sweet. I smell, it tastes like a little bubble of marshmallow, oh. creamy marshmallow in there on the end. That's good. Good rye. So, Clyde Mays straight rye whiskey. Bourbon. Now we're going to try some bourbon. Okay. This is the Clyde Mays straight bourbon whiskey. A little bit spicier. Still very smooth, but a little bit spicier than the rye. I like it. Cool. I like the rye better though. I think I I normally like rye or Irish whiskey better than bourbon. Mm -hmm. I still get a little bit of sweet, but not as much on the nose. Um, little bit of oak whiskey barrel. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the oak right, taste, and it's good, also smooth. Almost like cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. I, do, I do have some cinnamon on the nose, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> this is a hard glass to snip, but you can put your whole face in this glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> face plant. Face plant whiskey. Wow, that that that's really good. It's got like a little uh, barbecue, not barbecue, uh, brown sugar with molasses. Something the back of the palate. That's actually really tasty. Very good. Should we I do the be... Alabama? Finish that rye. Yeah. Mm. Gosh, guys, that that's really good. This is like a a 92 proof of Clyde May straight bourbon whiskey. I'm a fan on that little little bottle. Cool. <laughs> original. This is the original Clyde May's Alabama style whiskey. I've never had Alabama whiskey. So we're going to see it's probably like Texas, I bet. That's what I'm guessing. We'll see. Color is definitely more orange, ambery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. The other two were light. Do you get a little funk on the nose? A lot more ethanol. Oh, okay. And then the taste is like not as spicy, obviously. It's like, uh. There's something weird. It's almost like a fruitiness, hmm. like a spiced pear. Yeah. Mm. Spice pear, cool. Uh, yeah, I got the eth ethanol whiff. Although, second whiff is more, a little bit more oak that I'm getting. I did a face plant there. Didn't get anything different on that one. smooth no I like I would have expected more heat because of the ethanol that I got right on Me the too. first sniff but uh, and 
not a bitterness like you would expect from a, you know, like you were mm. saying, a Texas whiskey and never had mm. Alabama whiskey. So I was kind of like almost thinking I was going to have like a mm -hmm. nutty bitterness, but I don't get that. See what you think. Hang on, let's put, I'm going to put some, a little bit more. Yeah, I didn't put as much in that. Let's, let's put a little ones. tap more in this. Oh, that's really good. Let's really see. Good. They are good. They're so different. Now see, right off the nose, I get that funk, that Texas funk right there. It's like a little musky about, funk. I see, did not get see if that. you get that. She don't get it? You don't get it either? Nope. I, don't, I do. I do. I it's got that point. sort of Texas kind of stuff to me. I don't know why, but see if you get the, the usual nutty bitter because I didn't. I'm not a fan of this. What? It's just no, like it's good. It's it's lame to me. It's, it's like very it's weak. very watery. I yeah, think. exactly. I'm getting this funk. I'm not getting much taste. It's just a uh, eh. And I think that's why I said spiced pear because pear is like very bland mm -hmm. and watery. Okay, folks. <laughs> so this one, hmm. Alabama. It's Tina still likes it. It's still good, but it's not my favorite thing. It, in the world. I mean, it's not bad. I they, can't score it because I don't own a bottle. But they can't have any more of this one. It's mine. Nor do I want it. <laughs> that that has. Let me tell you what it tastes like. It tastes a lot like the Texas whiskeys. It tastes a lot like that Australian whiskey. It's because of the climate in Alabama where it's mostly just hot all the time. And you're not bringing much. out those woody tones that you would get in a Kentucky bourbon. Yeah, it doesn't change Or the caramel really or the much. vanilla. See, I'm not getting caramel and vanilla on that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going in with the ginger ale. So here we go. <laughs> and Allison gave it a good sniff test. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We're going into, where are we going, Allison? Well, it's Inlet uh, Prohibition Company, but it used to be Inlet Provisions. Yes. So I guess I think it's pretty much the same. Trying to promote the whiskey. I got my whiskey girl shirt on. <laughs> they got rob lobster mat uh ravioli we last time we were here two years ago we were with daniel and elise and daniel and i tried all kind of different bourbons it was a lot of fun allison's looking awful pretty tonight oh my gosh there's a lot of prey. I want the, yeah. I'd love to have that barrel. Okay. You guys want Um, smooth, so I ordered mine with Maker's Mark tonight. So, giving it a try, and so far it's good. It's just real smooth and real sweet, like what I wanted. And I'm having my old fashioned with Buffalo Trace because it's the best. <laughs> Period. <laughs> and I also throwing hands over here. <laughs> and I also. Uh, 
ordered Maker's Mark because, I, and I don't know how, but I absolutely forgot to say, do you have Elijah Craig? And I'm sure they do. I just haven't been over to the whiskey bar to check it out yet. They have a whiskey barrel of Elijah Craig. It's been used, but there's no Elijah Craig on that shelf. <laughs> They only wish they had Elijah Craig. And I, you know, I've probably got about six bottles of different Elijah Craigs. Yeah. You know why? Because that stuff's for real. Good stuff. Ooh. Right. Nice. Look at this. Nice. Very Thank nice. You. Thank you. Look at the oyster Rockefeller. Look at the oysters on that shell. So it's going in with the oysters Rockefeller. She's gonna have to tell us what it's like. It's a big oyster. Oh my. He's really trying to get higher. Oh, it's really good. The Parmesan. What else? I think it has bacon on it too. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. may not be fancy. It's a lobster grilled cheese. I'm not a fancy girl. But I'm gonna tell you what. This is so delicious. I could like eat this every day. Just a lobster grilled cheese. Yum, look at that. <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> and I'm having seafood platter and you know what it's really good i ain't gonna say nothing else because it's just really good so i don't know if you guys know a lot about me but sweet vermouth on the rocks is one of the best drinks you can ever get it tastes like cherry coke on ice so huh. good check. order sweet vermouth on the rocks it's a uh, kind of like it's kind of like if you want a glass of wine, but you don't want to drink wine. It's uh, vermouth is fermented wine, so but it tastes better than wine. So. Oh wow! Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the food and drinks at the Inlet Prohibition Company in Merle's Inlet is just outstanding. You don't want to miss it, and then you don't want to miss strolling through this beautiful area.